I want to introduce to you two very young women, two freshmen here at Meredith College, um, Shauna Scott and um, Victoria Greenlee. Um, have only been members of our family here for five months. Um, Shauna was born in Massachusetts, then moved to North Carolina, then to Wisconsin, and back to North Carolina. Victoria was born in Pennsylvania and moved to North Carolina. And so both of them graduated high school here and enrolled in Meredith last fall. Um, Shauna is majoring in interior and fashion design, and Victoria hopes to be a teacher someday. Join me as we welcome Shauna and Victoria. Good morning. My name is Shanna Scott, and I'm Victoria Greenlee. And we just want to start talking to you about food stamps. Food is something everyone needs. What makes a difference is how much money you have. But what's really considered rich or poor? That's something SNAP decides. SNAP stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also commonly known as food stamps. We have a map that shows the amount of homes that have increased in 2008 and 2009 for food stamps. And just in today's society, think about how many people that need it and aren't able to apply for it today. In North Carolina, to be able to get SNAP, you have to be a resident to have a current bank balance under $2,001 or a resident who have a current bank balance under $3,001 who have, who share a home with someone 60 or over, or with someone that has a disability such as a child, a spouse, a parent, or even yourself. In either category, you must have a house annual income for one person of $14,079. For two people, you have to have $18,941. For four people, you have to have $28,665. For six people, $38,389. For nine or more people, you have to have at least $4,862 for each additional person. And you have to remember that savings and checking are combined in these categories. According to food stamps, my family is considered rich, or at least too rich for food stamps, with an income of $1,100 from my father's Social Security. The first problem is, this isn't what's being considered as income. The gross pay is. A gross monthly income is $1,225, but you get a minus the medical insurance, which is $125. That only leaves us with $1,100 to uh, net a month. But you still need to... Um, Minus the electricity, which is approximately 150, car insurance, which is 100, your cell phone bill, which is 170, your credit card, which is 300, your TV, that's 80. And that only leaves us $300 left to spend. But this still does not include gas, rent, food, personal supplies, school supplies, or house supplies. But still, not all families can um, pay, pay rent. Some families can get by with this $300, but some can't. My family was one of those um, families. For us to stay in a home, we made an agreement with the person that owns our house. Um, she was a good friend of ours, and she let us stay in the house while we decided to take care of her because of her age. In most cases, of course, people have to pay rent. For a house rent, it can vary for a large cost. For acquaintance of ours, it ranged up to $850. Now keep in mind, if you only have $300, and for an apartment, it's still even high. It can range from $350 to $600, which can vary with utilities as well. That will be included. Another time, my mom was working part-time as a waitress when my brother had gotten a part-time job to help pay for his car. Because of this, when my mother applied for food stamps, we were denied because of his small income. Um, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> As a society, we should think about people that have food stamps and just don't think of them as just a person that isn't working for what they have. Some people are putting an effort to try to make an income. There was another time, I remember, 
when my mother worked in a seasonal job and applied for food stamps. Even though her seasonal job was only for two months, it was still considered income. Now, we did get approved, but this was only for $14. That would only cover milk, bread, eggs, and cheese. And about the time we started receiving those food stamps, my mom's seasonal job had already ended. So it was almost completely pointless. Um, we just want to let you guys know that you should be aware of people that have these problems and keep an eye out for just trying to give them a helping hand. Just know that like it's not easy. We are trying, and there's not much you can do when you can't really get the help that you need. Thank, Thank you. you.